Dear friends, we value your precious time for your convenience and good experience. There is chapters included in video timeline. Moreover, you will get direct link to each of three playlist as well as link to our official Facebook and Twitter account in description. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Hey, welcome back friends, Diyutamcha here with more of Witcher 3 next gen walkthrough in death march difficulty. After helping Eskel and Lambert in their task, now it is time to help Yennefer in her task. Name of the quest is Disturbance. This is main story quest. Before going to her, let me tell you the lore of Kaer Morhen. Kaer Morhen is an old castle where witchers of the school of the wolf used to be trained. It is located in the Blue Mountain of Hurch in the kingdom of Cadwen, right of the Gwenlech River. Kaer Morhen in elder speech called as Kaer Amurhen, meaning Keep of the Elder Sea. In the past, scholars of Oxenfurt Academy speculated that this castle was originally an ancient elven defensive structure. They termed this castle as the Circle of Whispering Stones. Now there is a structure somewhere here in Kaer Morhen called as Bastion which was the primary training area of young witchers. Their renegade mages and druids performed the trials and changes which transformed boys to witchers. The massacre and decline of Kaer Morhen is well versed among witcher fans like us. Vile acts committed perpetually by witchers resulted in anti-witcher sentiment among Cadvanian population. As a result, mob of peasants led by opportunist mages stormed Kaer Morhen. Reportedly, 23 witchers and 40 students including children and renegade mages and druids who conduct trials were slaughtered. Only those witchers survived who remained outside the castle. After this blood-curdling incident, there is no way new witchers can be prepared as the secrets and the trials procedure lost forever. Last remaining witchers who survived somehow managed. Renes took the mantle as the grandmaster and Vesemir as fencing instructor, with handful of survived witchers including Geralt, Eskel, Lambert, Berenger, Elgar, Gwen, Olak, which I remember. Alright my friends, now it is time to begin the quest disturbance. Hmm, it seems Vesemir is examining Uma carefully. I'll come back to you soon, Vesemir. What are you doing, Eskel? Looks like a catacan. Eskel. Hmm, impressive specimen. Hmm, a month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Interesting. Witcher's taking keynotes of Slew Monster. Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. All right, while eating apple, let's begin from the top. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers, protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears, and an earring. Mm hmm seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth, missing its upper front teeth, lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open up its gut, brother. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Wanna give it to Yennefer? Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. <laughs> no, thanks.
thinks. She only wears silver. That's her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Yeah, like the one we encountered in Oxenfurt. Nice claws. 15 inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about 100, 110 years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Alright, Eskel. Time to move on. Think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Okay, let's not wait any for any moment longer. Not afraid of silver. So this is the kitchen. Wonder who cook here. <laughs> What the hell, Yennefer? Oof! Shit. Uh -oh. Barely escaped from getting heart attack. It seems you'll blow up this castle. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. Damn straightforward. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Of course, it seems you have a trust issue. Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now. But you'll understand in time. <laughs> now this issue with bed. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. <laughs> so upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew. But that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Got red-handed. <laughs> yes, I know. You lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Good boy. Splendid. <laughs> On to more pressing matters. Be faithful to her, buddy. What now? Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. 
that leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who do you want to contact, Ian? Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. Mention not, Yen. Now what do I do? Alright. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Alright, now we have to find the source of disturbance. Potest Acquisitor. Here we go. Nothing here. It seems this device is having some sort of electromagnetic field which detects magic perhaps, which causes disturbances to Yen's megascope. Now it's glowing more and more. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Shh. <laughs> Just never took off. Now it is producing strange noises. Mounted witchering just never took off. Vesemir, you have any idea? Yes. What is it, Wolf? Uh, nothing about these disturbances. No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress, for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were twenty, and that's just teachers. As for candidates, I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. Yeah, Vesemiri, we knew what happened earlier. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Hedden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballots. 
Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. We are very close to the source. What are you doing, Uma? Can we talk? How can I help you? I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? <laughs> Do universes exist? <laughs> you think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? Good reply, Uma. <laughs> So these crates are the source. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get them out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Alright guys, disturbance is sorted out. Let's join Ian. Now her megascope's working. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? Well, I don't think Ian Lambert knows about disturbances. You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. <laughs> Trust issue. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? <laughs> Second option is hilarious. Kedmil. Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine. Kedmil Foli, Gledevdon Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Oh no, she got frightened. Which means you know the dialects. Recognize the dialect? Leithen Undod. Meaning? The so called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before? Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Uh oh. Well, do you want something in return? Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. 
Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Yeah, and do you really understand what she told? Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. Child of the Elder Blood. Tell me about this migration. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. <laughs> the Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this Lathe and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. I see. So what now? All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. But we behaved properly. I'm not getting why we misbehaved. Anyway, sorry, Yen. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. All right. Now what are we planning to begin Yen? Listen everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement. To seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What are you planning to do, Vesemir? What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma? Whoever hides inside him. <laughs> Vesemir becomes a grumpy. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Care Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So what now, guys? So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself. Or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt.
<laughs> Look at Askel's face. He is so jealous. Now tell me, Yen, what I have done now. All right. What did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. <coughs> well, since you want this now, who the hell I am to stop two lovebirds? Or three. I'll hold you to that. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Yeah, we enjoy it. <laughs> uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Why not, Yen? First of all, let's hear Lambert. Any interesting contract? What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Might have spared the troll, Lambert. Could have spared the troll. To eat roots and sleep in roadside ditches? I needed the coin. And not a soul mourned that troll's passing. Let's raise a mug to his memory. The least we can do. Eskel, tell us more about that Katagan hunt. Eskel, that Katagan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A Katagan? Oh ho ho, dangerous horse sons those. Finicky too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. <laughs> Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, Never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Eskel, what the hell? You are mixing business and pleasure? Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. <laughs> oh, so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. 
Maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. All right, now it's our turn. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Really, Lambert? You sweet little bastard. Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses. What? Only you fucking what? Lambert, that's not cool. Mind your manners. Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting or I will watch you suffer. That's crazy, Yen. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. That's crazy. That's why she was hiding her plan. What are the chances Uma survive? What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great. But we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Let's hope for the best. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. I don't know, guys, how Vesemir will react after knowing Ian's plan. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. <laughs> it seems we have boys party night ahead. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My god, will you guys stop today? Three brothers are enjoying late night party. It seems three of them get together after a long time. That's great, we can play Gwent. Why not? Let's play. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Of course, nothing is free. Ten crowns, whatever. Yeah, I'm 
unless you'd rather play strip Quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Nilfgaardian deck. Nice. Two commander horn. Let's replace one. Uh, and trebuchet. Nice, we got a spy card. Good luck, brother. So soon? Not playing in clear mind, you drunk. Now we need above six point. Let's play Kira and Sheila. Let me tell you Lambert, you are done brother. All right, Lambert is done. This is the second time we are defeating you. Nice try, brother. Anyways, good game. Good game, Carol. Especially that move with the Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. <laughs> He's so bitter. Come on guys, let's have some fun. Come on, let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game, student from Oxenford taught. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. Come on, you know Geralt. He already did this. Eskel, what? <laughs> How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. <laughs> right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Ah, Eskel, really? That's pretty general among men. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? 
What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. <laughs> That's right. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Uh, never jumped out a lover's window. Jumped out a lover's window. That's oh, Lambert! <laughs> must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drink dragon. Now what's happened to him? That's interesting. Eskel, tell me about you and Lambert's brotherhood. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. It is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Lambert! A witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Oh, my stomach is paining. This night we'll have lots of fun and enter new sides of three of them. What's this about a Samavilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down, so he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. <laughs> That's a nice one, Lambert. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, as soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. <laughs> That's right, brother. It's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. <laughs> Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. I can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. Thanks, brother. Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Oh no, Askel, don't do this. He will not return, I'm sure. Lambert, I like you, brother. Lambert, bud, I've gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're real jackass. <laughs> I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? Should've been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job. For Vesemir! Marianne, <laughs> take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be... beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Oh no, I hate this mode. Let's find a drunk Eskel. Spilled some wine. And crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. <laughs> My God! Oof! 
Esco, you drunk! Get out here! This quest is getting better and better. Oh my god! Esco! 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 <laughs> Oh, you drunk! Get out here! Now where the hell is this Askel? Gosh, this quest is turning out one of my favorite quest. <laughs> Askel, chop chop. Askel, chop chop. <laughs> hey, you hear that? Sounded like panting. I'm a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. I think he... I think he hurt himself. What's one scar, more or less, in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. Aha. Uh -huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother! We're coming! I'm hearing his high snoring. There he is. This is your Eskel. kitchen, you drunk! Hey, look. There he is. With his ever-faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Three of us get together. My God. Ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. <laughs> what about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends, how's that sound? Lambert, you jackass, that's your plan? Well, I'll not stop you. You are a genius, man. Lambert, you're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Summon the bitches! <laughs> this is going better and better. Yeah, and we'll kill you, Geralt. <laughs> Alright. How's this work? Well, twist here, turn there. And you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Oh, you three. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, We'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. <laughs> I know. Yennefer's clothes. No, it's you jackass. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Now this is the nail in the coffin. Sure, Lambert. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some frippery. <laughs> uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. This is the height of madness we are doing right now. They are so drunk. I think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Oh my god, I can't believe we are doing this. Alright, that's it. Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. As soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. Oh what my god. <laughs> and you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill. Blood that one. Focus, focus, I reckon that one. Focus, focus. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. 
God! More paper, Excellency! <laughs> oh, the lodge, the lodge has come for me! <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Oh no. Go to bed. Now. She's Geralt. <laughs> What a quest! Oh. Damn, what a dream. See everyone's up and at him. Of course, Ian got pissed. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, you learned anything? Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of What's the term? Uh, relaxed consciousness. He behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we- Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. Well, guys, first and foremost, let us dress up. All right, we are done. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series. Ah, uh, we are in home, guys, so there is no need to wear swords now. Let's put them down. All right, it's okay now. Data ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. There it is. We have everything needed to brew potion for the trial of the grasses. Let's go to alchemy section. The decoctions of the grasses. Alright, we are ready. Let's begin the trial. I am feeling very nervous, guys. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Oh, 
Moment of truth. Who are you exactly? Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Trial of the grasses. There we go, guys. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly. No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Wild rye juice decoction. There you go. <sighs> it's painful to watch. I had hoped. I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. Spear grass sap. Maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he. Mm, Uma vomited. Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. That's Siri in there. She could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? We don't have a choice, brother. Fingers crossed. Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. Or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. No. I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Hmm. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Ice skating with Siri. Okay. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. 
द अल्टीमेट मोमेंट अराइव गाइस What happened? No. No, I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. What? Am I near to it? Never severe. Oh, it's that elf, Ciri's companion. Avalok, you know him? Yes, an elf in hell, a sage. Where is Ciri? Hidden. The Isle of Mists. Isle of Mists. But it's not. She's not safe. The hunt. The hunt. What's it want from Ciri? Her blood, elder blood, to open the gate. We cannot. We cannot allow this. Tell me, where is this Isle of Mist? Isle of Mists. Where is it? Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen, Arwen, Shrem. In Skellige, follow it into the mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the Isle. As yet, it is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Will he recover, Dian? Is he gonna make it? I can't. No, you saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but. Trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Ciri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? Bottom two options are not worth the reply. What do you suggest, Vesemir? What's your suggestion? Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble. And she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. Bold move. We plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice besides delaying the inevitable? 
pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword or wield magic. Right, now we need to gather allies. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf, and give Cirilla our love. <laughs> well, that's a little awkward. Come back quickly, Geralt. Nice, we are in level 28, guys. Now, before ending of this part, I'll read character entry of Uma. When Geralt encountered a misshapen midget at the Bloody Baron's court, he didn't think much of it. Yet, when he heard a similarly deformed being had washed up on Skellige's shores in the same boat in which Ciri and her mysterious companion had sailed off shortly prior, he connected the two at once. It was clear this rough hue and hunk of flesh was the key to finding Cyrilla. Sadly, there was no communicating with Uma. The gnarled twiglet lived in his own miniature world, yet Geralt knew Uma was the key to finding Ciri, even if no pertinent information was forthcoming from the creature's stunted lips, surely further investigation would squeeze some solution out of this riddle. Though Yennefer and Vesemir agreed Uma was suffering from a powerful curse, they could not reach a consensus about how to go about lifting it. Sharp words were exchanged before Vesemir stepped in and announced that before Yennefer did anything, he would try one of the traditional witcher methods. All that was left to the others was to wait. Though Vesemir's method had worked to disenchant the famous Swan of Povis, it brought no breakthrough here. Vesemir did, however, succeed in confirming that Uma's body was a sort of magic prison in which some other being was trapped. Yennefer's method did not prognosticate a high chance for Uma's survival, yet was now the only remaining option for lifting the curse. The ritual succeeded beyond their wildest expectations. The person cursed inside Uma turned out to be none other than Avalok, a powerful elven sage the Witcher had met before. Alright my friends, that's all from today's part. If you like our video, give like and share this video among your friends. New viewers who are liking our content, please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell as you will get notified as soon as we publish videos. See you soon in the next part. Take it easy.